Hello there, welcome to Scroll Box Unboxing May 2017. Um, you've probably already noticed, but I'm doing a voiceover this time, which is a bit new and I'm a little bit uh, shy, so this is new for me. Um, so yeah, hi, this is Penguin's Bite. Anyway, you can see that we've already opened the box. Uh, a lot of highlighters and neon colours inside. That gives you kind of an idea what's going to become next. So this month's challenge happens to be workspace highlight and makes sense with everything that's in the box. So the first item that we're looking at is something called the Stadler Trackless Mobile Office, and this is really cool because I've never seen anything like it before. Um, it's just it's basically like a little mini pencil case, perfect for school. So the first pen that we look at is a black fine liner. It's your standard fine liner, it's good, it does the job, and it's by Stadler, which is a good company. The second item we look at is just a blue ballpoint pen. Again, it's standard, good for school. Um, this is a mechanical pencil. I used to have quite a lot of these when I was younger. I've used them in the past a lot and I've stopped using them since, but for school, great. And finally, I've not seen this before, but it's just, you know, a bullet point um, highlighter pen. Again, perfect little kit for school. So the second set of items we're looking at are these, these like highlighter pencils. Again, something that's quite new to me. And um, I got uh, in colours blue, pink and green. The blue was a little bit dull but we'll look at that later. Anyway the next item is a Stabilo Point Max. It's got a 0.8mm nib, it's a good felt tip pen. And finally we're looking at some, you know, your standard highlighters by M Lighter. Um, they're fluorescent pens, they're decent. In this box I got colours magenta, purple and blue. And of course, we can't forget the little sweet they give you, unfortunately, it isn't vegetarian and it's not halal either. Okay, so other than the sticker that we always get in every box, there's also the sketchbook that came with it all. And it's 40 pages, it's 140 GSM, um, it's suitable for most art supplies. And finally, the artwork of the month, this is done by Chip Whitehouse and the information for that will be in the description box below. So as usual, we're going to start testing out all the items and we've started with the fine liner from the mobile office. Um, it's a smooth fine liner, as you can see I'm giving it a little bit of a go. And to be honest, I've always felt this way about fine liners. I don't see much of a difference. Sometimes I find them scratchier and sometimes smoother. And this one is just, you know, it's kind of scratchy. It's what I was used to before I found some smoother ones. The next one's obviously the blue ballpoint pen. Um, I don't like ballpoint pens. Um, there's very few that I enjoy using. I like smooth. <laughs> I like smooth pens and having to scribble to get the ink out from behind the ball can really annoy me. Now we're looking at the mechanical pencil. Now I don't use this pencil anymore but I have to admit um, Stadler pencil leads are some of my favourite to use. It's usually what I go and buy for all my other mechanical pencils and I am a bit of a mechanical pencil fiend. So yeah, um, I used to keep blue leads in my old one of this, but not anymore. Okay, so one thing I remembered from this pencil is that one of its best points is that the eraser isn't tiny and flimsy. It's quite strong and I believe you can get replacements. The Stadler highlighter was really nice to use actually. Um, I didn't used to use highlighters much, but recently I've gone into bullet journaling, so you know I might need to dig this one out wherever I've put it now. Uh, it's nice, it's thin, it's soft, and it's smooth. Uh, 
I forgot to mention this, but the highlighter pencils are by Ko E. Nord, and um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I felt about these. They were really cool, um, but I just can't really see much of a reason to use them as a highlighter. Obviously, as art supplies, it's alright, and I can see how people want to use them, but I'm a little bit unsure about them. But they're cool. I did mention this before, but in my opinion, the blue is kind of dull, and you know, you can probably find this kind of blue in a normal set of pencil colours, so uh, the pink and the green were nice, you'll see the pink in a bit, um, I think they were cool, but again, I think the blue you could easily find in a normal colouring set, not sure, maybe the pink as well, but the green definitely, no, that was, the green one was probably my favourite. So I'm using the Studio Point Max. Um, it's really nice, actually. Um, I definitely am gonna keep this one. It's just even. It's it's strong. It doesn't feel like it's there's no smell. It's a really good black felt pen and no scratchy noises because I really hate scratchy noises. The highlighters, again, were standard. To be fair, Scrawlerbox does describe them on their little item list as the humble highlighter, so they literally quite, like, pretty much are as they are. But, you know, they're real highlighters. They are neon. I enjoyed using them. Okay, so I'll try not to bore you so much while we're going through the drawing. Um, I guess I should try and pick a topic to talk about, but because this is the first time I've voiceovered and kind of considered this, I've not really thought of anything. Um, but if you guys have any questions, then just leave it in the comments and I'll try and remember to respond to some of them in the next video. Um, I know I'm not exactly very reliable or consistent with when I post and I try and be on time and I usually record it fairly on time but then like in the middle of illustrating and doing other things obviously um, I tend to forget to edit and actually make the video so this is why this is a little bit outdated um, but I guess the more interest I get the more excited I'll probably get to do these kinds of things uh, but if you have any questions for next time, definitely shoot them my way. I will probably skip through the drawing a little bit. But, you know, let me know if you actually like watching the entirety of the drawing. I tend to get a little bored watching myself draw when I'm watching it back. And uh, hence, I make cuts. Um, when it comes to scroll box, I have a hard time with the challenges I always have and you'll notice in all videos that I've said the same thing. I I don't know why, generally I'm quite good at coming up with quick thinking and like ideas, but I think it's because like obviously the challenge is to use whatever's in the box and try to do it on... I mean, the reason why I really bought into school box was to try and push myself and try different things and new things. And I do think it does happen sometimes, but I think that's possibly what made me dislike the challenges so much. Like, they would be challenging, but I would never like what came out of the challenge. And, you know, after talking o over with my sister, she says, just draw what you feel like drawing because you don't want it to be a chore. And she's right. 
Um, I don't want it to be a chore, I want to enjoy it. And it's not like I don't experiment, I do experiment. I spent most of my degree experimenting and I kind of wish I didn't mainly because in the end I didn't really like what came out of stuff, I didn't enjoy like the levels of things and it's not because I wasn't good at it, it was just more that oh it's not really what I'm interested in. So um, that's why I sometimes will vaguely reference the challenge of the month and sometimes completely ignore it. Can you see what it meant by the blue? It's just not as bright as that green and the yellow. The magenta's not too bad. It's okay, but it's not <laughs> fluorescent. Um, the actual notebook is okay. It's like a decent notebook. It's good, f it's just, it feels a little bit like cartridge paper, so it's just, you know, for your standard um, tools. It takes pen very well, it takes colouring pencils great. Um, it takes marker okay. I'd have to try it with, like, Copix or something to see exactly how much I can withstand the ink. Um, but at the moment it's, it's it's not too bad. It's just kind of like one of those sketchbooks you'd get at secondary school where you know you'd order it and you'd think it would be a cool sketchbook but it's kind of just your basic standard sketchbooks. Nothing wrong with that. For a lot of people that's all you need. Yeah, so if you guys have any um, questions that you want me to answer, um, let me know in the in the comments. Um, I probably am an a uh, lot. It's my first time voiceovering, so. But um, honestly, let me know if you like the voiceover or if you prefer the text. I understand some people don't watch art videos with the voice on. I'm half like that. Sometimes I like listening, sometimes I don't. Usually when I'm in bed, I just refuse to have the sound on. So I, I, let me know. I will try and at least explain what tools are in the box with text. Um, like you'll see in this video. Or have seen in this video. But other than that, I kind of find it easier to talk because obviously I can tell you a lot more, I can talk about a lot more things, I can talk while the drawing's happening, which means it's maybe not so boring. But yeah, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. We're coming to the end of the video, so thanks for sticking by and I hope my voice didn't annoy you away. Alright, well I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.